the fruits and the seeds flowers turn into fruits most fruits store food cut open any fruit it has seeds seeds are necessary for the formation of new plants seeds also store food which is used by the new plant during germination let us know what is dispersal of seeds a plant produces large number of fruits and seeds these fruits and seeds are carried to far away places the process of carrying seeds and fruits to far away places is known as dispersal of seeds why is dispersal of seeds important let us perform an activity take a few gram seeds and two pots fill both the pots with garden soil in one pot sow two or three seeds only in another pot sow 20 to 25 seeds very close to each other water both the pots regularly observe and record the growth of new plants the pot with 2 3 seeds have healthy plants the pot with 20 to 25 seeds have weak plants this is because the seeds did not get enough sunlight water and space to grow seeds and fruits are dispersed mainly by air or wind water and animals dispersal of seeds and fruits by air seeds and fruits which are dispersed by air are light in weight some seeds develop thin membranous wings that help them to float in air seeds of cotton and oak have got hair that help them to float in air dispersal of seeds and fruits by water fruits of coconut and lotus are dispersed by water when the coconut ripes it falls in the water the outer wall of coconut is fibrous so it can float to long distances in water the fruit of lotus is spongy which helps it to float in water dispersal of fruits and seeds by animals many seeds and fruits are dispersed by various animals these seeds have got hooks or sticky secretion that help them to attach to the animal's body the seeds travel with the animals to distant places birds and animals feed on the pulpy and edible portions of fruits like guava and apple and pass out the undigested seeds with their fecal matter the seeds are thus dispersed at different places and germinate to form new plants